Maybe it's nighttime. And you just wanna have a cigar. It is a real full moon. I heard tomorrow. Tomorrow's the biggest, brightest full moon of the year. Exciting. Expect werewolves. This is to me the first time having the Nat Sherman uh, Metropolitan Cigar, in this case the Maduro, and you have the Connecticut. Um, um, first time having it under the, the 2021, they had a re-acquisition by Terrio Fuego, or Ferio Tago, I had that backwards. I don't understand it. Supposedly it's workers that work for Nat Sherman and when Nat Sherman cigars, not because the cigarettes, I think they're still being made, but when Nat Sherman cigars ceased in 2020, which was a shame, because the timeless and those cigars were really solemn. Good draw. Um, this is uh, Connecticut Broadleaf, and the rest is Dominican. Um, medium off the bat. Good draw off the bat. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't like the. Um, why does my hat feel like, I think, I think cause my head is so big. Um, the, the timeless I had, I used to love that cigar. I fucking loved it. The new version under this brand, it sucked. Cock. I'm gonna give it a second. But so far I'm not liking this cigar. Now I got this in a 13 pack for 45, so basically three dollars. That's I mean we got we got Oliva Milano V Maduro for three dollars. So Camacho Trip Maduro over there. Shout out the cigar page for fantastic deals. Um, however, these at a store might be like six bucks, seven bucks, so on the lower side of mid tier pricing. It was 10? No. Was it 15 years ago? Yeah, yeah, 2014, 15. Yeah, over 10 years ago. Even before that, yeah, 10, 12 years. Because I remember smoking these in the back of my pickup truck, but even before that. And they were $5 in Long Island. It was, that was cheap cigar. So we gotta give it to them that they're MSRP on these cigars. Haven't really gone up. And I, I remember enjoying the one, these ones in the past, but still understanding it wasn't a great cigar. It was a good cigar that worked and was available and extremely affordable. And it wasn't a short fill cigar. Um, I don't like it. I don't like the message on this cigar. It's not even dirty in the right way. When you have like dirty Nicaraguan tobacco, it has a very earthy and very, too much black pepper, but like, but 
it, it, it's very granular and very like you can taste volcanic earth, but it's like too much, you know. But you can deal with that better. This is very dirty Dominican tobacco. It's got a strange floralness to it, like really off-putting. And there is, there is like a muted, dry, uh, milk chocolate note. And it's like, picture if you had a milk chocolate glass, but you, you put like 10 or 20% of the amount of chocolate in the mix, you should have. So it's it's almost like you're having water with a splash of Hershey syrup. You're like, it's almost like, did, did someone drink milk chocolate? Did somebody drink chocolate milk? and not wash the glass right, and you gave me a glass of water, that's the amount of chocolate. It ain't right. It ain't right. It ain't right. Oof, oof, I don't like this cigar. It's a piece of shit. That's two for two with the Ferry Otego. I cannot recommend this brand. And now, I used to smoke these on the regular, affordable, and they were enjoyable. And even back then, I knew they weren't like a Padron or a VSG. But this with a cup of coffee or a scotch, and I was having a good time. I don't know what this fairy and the band is quite nice an affordable cigar. I, I, I like it. I like the band. This Ferry Otego, it's not the same blends. It's, I don't care what they say, because that Timeless was one of my favorite cigars. Could easily be in my in a top 50. Maybe top 30? I've smoked so many Timeless cigars. I love those cigars. I had a new version. Fuck it. Antichrist spirit. I hated him. Great construction, great draw, great burn. Flavor is asshole. Unwashed asshole. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. You know, no. Cigar looks nice. Nice band, nice construction. Good price point, maybe six bucks on the internet. If you buy a box, it's like less than five because it was like what a hundred it was like a hundred dollars or something like that hundred and something for a box of 18 so maybe sub five dollar price point that's really good for solid mid-tier cigars which they used to be So it's like if you took water, put a splash of chocolate syrup in it, so it tastes like dirty water. It doesn't even taste like chocolate milk, of course. And you poured it on like burning flower petals and let it sit in a garbage pail in the sun overnight because the sun is out. And uh, it fermented. It's a basic piece of shit. It's like garbage water and flour. It's garbage. This is garbage. I would rather smoke a Dutch pasta. I cannot finish this. I cannot finish this. The review is over. But I was kind of excited to have this. I haven't had a Metropolitan in, in years. These were good, like cheap, kind of dirty. Cigars that were reliable and, you know, back before A.J. Fernando was around, the the old school Metropolitan Connecticut Maduros, they were affordable and they were round, you know. So you had like low-end punch cigars, like the classics, you know, the classical. And then you had like these, they're all around five, six bucks, and, you know, six for a larger one. And, you know, these were stuff you're putting if you want to break the bank or, you know, it wasn't payday yet, but you want to have smoke a cigar. Yeah. These are great, great options to have.
And, uh, you know, Metropolitan, the, 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 you the whole New York look, and you had the uh, Nat Sherman store in New York City. Obviously, they closed that, right? Uh, did they open it back up? I don't know. So, you know, there's a lot of heritage to Nat Sherman in New York City. I, I won't buy any more of these Nat Shermans. I didn't buy this on purpose. I, it was a sampler pack, but uh, and even uh, like, like if it's in a sampler, okay, but I won't buy a five pack of these. No, um, I can't recommend Terrio Fe Fago, Ferio Tego. I can't recommend him. I'm sorry. Uh, this is the second one. It's just complete shit. Dude, guys, I, I, I smoke a lot of cigars and I pay attention. I put a lot of effort into paying attention and I remember a lot of things and I compare and contrast flavors, profiles, uh, competition within the zone brand, even within different sizes of the same cigar, different wrappers of the same cigar, different sizes. Um, coming back to stuff after years, you know, does it still hold up? I, I, I do a lot of, a lot of mental thought that's all you really can do when you're smoking a cigar is to think. Ferry Otego sucks. It's terrible. Ter I'd rather smoke, not even forget a, a Macanudo like with a classic, you know, the, the, the green and white label, the gold or or a Reserve Royale, I mean, a Reserve Royale uh, 1875 Romeo would would be like a David off right now compared to this. This is garbage. Here. This has no redeeming quality. I'm not even, every flavor about this sucks. Band is nice, construction size. And the, uh, Price point is good on these. I can't believe how bad this sucks. Just like I watched that new movie tonight, the Joker movie, and that sucked too. Terrible. But it was so bad. It's like almost they were making a mockery of the first movie. The first Joker was easily could be in the top 100 movies ever made. The, for that Joker Night 2019, masterpiece. Every scene, every the visuals, the music, the acting, the tension, it really was like if the Joker actually existed in reality with no comic book bullshit, like 100% this could have really happened. And they pulled it off with a low budget. The new Joker movie? It was one hour of Lady Kaka singing with the Joker. It, it was retarded. I'll say it again, the movie was retarded. Maybe watch it, I'll give you a pass. Get loaded, like drink a lot beforehand, and then put that movie on. And then maybe it'll be funny. You're like, what the fuck is going on? Literally, it's the Joker doing karaoke. And you're like, yo, who gave these people? How'd they get $100 million for this? Oh, look, here's the thing. It's the Joker's on trial, but he's doing karaoke the whole time. And nobody can hear him singing because it's in his head. But you get to go inside the Joker's head. And listen to him sing. What a piece of shit. I'm done. Hard pass on this thing.